All praises go to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom. Um, double honors unto the others, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures. So, and, uh, and uh, Shalom to all the Akim doing his truth and sincerity and truth. Doing his uh, wisdom and doing his uh, teachings in sincerity and truth. I'm going to just jump a bit in. Um, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 7, verse 1. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come, thou and all thine house, in the ark. For thee have I seen, for in thee, for thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation. Because in that generation only wickedness was on the planet earth. Verse 2. And Noah was the only one that the Most High saw fit to, uh, to let uh, him survive. Verse 2. On every... Uh, of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by seven the male and his female and of beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female so why in the movies uh, in the movies Ten Commandments no 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 Salakia. in the movie of Noah why did you hear only two beasts you see that these white people are actually lying they're lying because if they did that then you would ask yourself okay why did you take seven of those beasts and only two of those because then he would actually have have to explain to you that well pigs and stuff like that horses and stuff like that are not clean then then you you would ask okay why are they not clean because then, then he would have to answer if he was a man of the, his of, of the truth he would have to answer well because the Lord says they're not clean and you're not supposed to be eating them but since he doesn't want you to know which animals you're, you're not supposed to eat and which you are supposed to eat he'll just say two animals of all two of all animals even in the uh, movie uh, movies I forgot what, what the name was of the movie but it, it was about uh, Moses and stuff like that in the new age the nonsense they only had two of every animal which it clearly go which clearly goes against the scripture because it says and of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female and of beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female first three of vows also of the air by sevens the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of the earth a vow is actually a bird you can check it out right here vow look this is our birds okay all type of birds and stuff like that it's just a vow these happen to be the ones that don't fly, but a hawk is a vow, vow. An eagle is a vow. A duck, because you see chickens right now, right? I think they're supposed to be meaning the Garden of Eden or something. I see a naked bitch. He's he's a he's a, he's a, he's a profane a profane race. It's a profane race. Cause, Cause, if you saw this in the, in the woods and y you was alone, you would rape this bitch, man. Fuck out of here. Anyway, sick, sick woman. Anyway, first four, for yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth, forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. So everything that the Most High made, he will destroy. He, he told Noah, and he told Noah, I will do it in seven days. Verse 5. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. Noah just followed the Most High's uh, commandments. Which is, uh, if he says to do it, he just he, you just do it. Verse 6. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. So Noah was like 600 years old when the floods came. And Noah and Noah is a so-called black man, by the way. Don't get it twisted. 
And Noah went in, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives, with him, into the ark, because of the waters of the flood. So that means eight people went into the into the into the boat. Noah one, his sons Shem, Jem, and Hapheth is is four people. And his wife is five, and his sons' wives are three, which are which is eight. Of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls, and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. So all the animals and insects that couldn't swim, they went into the ark. Verse nine. There went into. They went into, and to unto Noah. Into the ark, the male and the female, as the Most High, as God had commanded Noah. They went two and two, male and female. Okay. First, the the seven uncle the seven clean ones, they went male and female, okay, and then the two unclean ones, male and female also. So, it wasn't just two, of all of all animals, only male and female. No, it was of the clean beasts seven, and of the unclean beasts two. Um. And it first ten, and it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. So after seven days it started to rain. In the sixth, in the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. And the windows of heaven were opened. The windows of heaven is talking about the uh, the sky. And the fountains of the deep is uh, probably talking about space. If I'm correct, what the elder uh, said. The elders in uh, America. Verse 12. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. So it rained forty days and forty nights. In the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Jam and Japheth, I mean Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah. And by the way, Shem, Ham, and Japheth were all dark skinned. What's going on? And Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. And all these children of Noah and their and the and these females, they all got saved because of Noah. Because it says in the book of First Timothy, let me read it quick before I go on. First Timothy chapter two, verse fifteen. Notwithstanding, let me start at fourteen. First Timothy chapter two, verse fourteen. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, was in transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in child. Wait, let me just get it right here, man, because uh, it's better like that. First Timothy two, two, chapter fourteen. Now, okay. Wait, this is. Wait a minute. What is this? This is chapter two. Yes. First Timothy chapter two verse fourteen and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Because it's talking about Adam and Eve, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the woman was in transgression. She she was the one that made a mistake. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. So the woman is going to be saved if she if she gives on if she gives child to the man that is beloved by the most high. If they continue in faith, if she keeps her faith, and charity, if she be lovely, uh, giving toward to her husband, as in she 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 gives herself charity is um. Let me go check it out, man. I know what it means, but uh, see affectionate, 
goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love. Well, in this case, sisterly love. So that's what it means, and that's what I mean also. Giving. A love, giving a love. And holiness with sobriety. Sobriety. What is sobriety? Soundness of mind, self control, sobriety. Somebody that's basically um, well in check with her mind. Let's put it like that. She's supposed to be um, not wild, you know? Just calm, collective, and just uh, with sobriety, okay? Okay, I'm going to go on. So that's why they would say, f going on, f verse 14. They and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth, which are the insects, after his kind, and every fowl after the earth, uh, after his kind, which are the, the birds, every bird of every sort. Uh, it, it, it just said it. Every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. See, this not only chickens and, and all these animals right here going on. Verse 15. And they went in unto Noah into the ark. Two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. Meaning that they are they are li they're alive, and the breath of life, going back to the book of Genesis, is talking about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. <sighs> That's the breath of life. Because these words that I speak unto you are breath and life, spirit and uh, uh, life and breath. And they that went in went in male and female of all flesh as the as god as the most high had commanded him and the lord shut him in see the most high closed that door it wasn't noah most high the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai the most high yahweh he closed that door okay verse 17 and the flood was 40 days upon the earth and the waters increased and bear up the ark and it lift up above the earth because the ark, the water lifted the whole ship that's how much uh, water there was on the earth because it started to float verse 18 and the water the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth and the ark went upon the face of the waters so it started to float the boat started to float the ark of Noah and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth there was many there was a lot of water and all the high hills the high hills were covered also in wa under water that were under that were under the whole heaven were covered the whole earth was covered in water under the whole heaven was covered in water all the earth under the whole heaven. Verse 20. Fifteen cubits upward did the water prevail, and the mountains were covered. Well, we don't know, I don't know what, what fifteen cubits is, because uh, cubit, a measurement of distance, the forearm, roughly 18 inch point five meters. I don't know, I don't know. There are several cubits used in the Old Testament. The cubits of a man or common cubit is DT311. The legit cubit of the cubit of the sanctuary, or cubit of sanctuary, Ezekiel 40 plus 45, 40.5 plus others. See the Bible dictionary for complete treatment. Okay. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. So every animal on the planet earth died and every human, except the eight. All those whose nostrils was the breath of life of all that was in the dry land died. And every living substance was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven. And they were destroyed from the earth and Noah only remained alive and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and two hundred fifty 
days. With that, Shalom.